Mars, the red planet, is one of our solar system's eight that humanity has yet to set foot on. Well, that is, human foot. Several rovers, satellites, and orbiters have been launched to monitor our celestial neighbor. Today's video is all about some of the most stunning discoveries sent back by these machines. First off, no, we're not at the produce aisle, but these definitely do look like blueberries on Mars. Taken just a few months following NASA's Opportunity rover landing on the Red Planet in 2004, these tiny iron-filled spheres were strewn about near its landing zone. Humor aside, these served as a critical first indicator that Mars was formerly an extremely wet planet, which was a surprise to many, especially back in 2004. The idea of the planet having dried up over time wasn't new. However, photographic evidence of the blueberry-like spheres sparked interest in Brioni Horgan, planetary scientist at Purdue University, declaring, No matter what the exact chemistry of these spheres was to start, the fact that they're there tells us that a lot of liquid water moved through these rocks over time. Determined to take advantage of this discovery, the team set out to find similar rock formations in different areas. And if scientists can parse out precisely how the blueberries formed, that may help us understand what Mars was like back when the features formed, and what sort of life could have theoretically thrived in those circumstances, Horgan continued. They were unfortunately inconclusive in comparing the Martian blueberries to similar ones on Earth, citing atmospheric differences causing issues with drawing any lasting answer. However, the chance of liquid water on Mars in the past and present remains notable. We all want to have confirmation that life exists off of our blue marble, and the idea of it being so close on Mars has never faltered over time. And no one could blame scientists for believing this to be confirmed after seeing this strangely female-looking rock. Upon first discovery, it went viral online with speculation suggesting it wasn't in fact a rock, but alive and alien. Unfortunately for the internet, 2007 cameras from NASA's rover Spirit weren't the best, but good enough to be able to conclude it was just a stone. Much like many of the best optical illusions and visual gags, it can be simple to see and interpret an object as something falsely. As noted by psychology, this particular photo sparked much emotion due to the resemblances of the rock to a human person. They go on to note that there are several other examples of what appear to be non-human life, such as snakes and lizards, all around the same photo. But the female-shaped rock was the only to be thought of as alive. And despite that, NASA will likely have to repeatedly disprove sightings like these for the foreseeable future, as the human mind is relentless in falling for visual tricks like these. In other Martian life-related discoveries, entomologist William Ramasser of Ohio University is convinced that this photo illustrates insect-like life on the planet, going as far as to break down the figure by body part. While Ramasser's claim is a huge one, it's also not his first one from Mars. In 2017 and 2018, he released two reports revealing similar findings, describing unidentified aerial phenomena. His findings have not since been acknowledged by NASA, who took the photo via several rovers. But the Mars rover Perseverance aims to investigate such claims, but with a focus on potential past life. Meteorites are nothing unusual in space, of course, but speculation arises when it's the first discovered on another planet. NASA's Opportunity rover photographed this basketball-sized celestial rock on January 6, 2005, in the first ever identified meteorite on another planet. Dubbed the Heat Shield Rock, it's composed largely of iron and nickel, common in rocks like it. And as Steve Squires, Cornell University principal investigator for the science instruments on both Opportunity and Spirit said, Finding one meteorite is surprising and interesting but not by itself what I call one of our most important discoveries. He refers to the relation between this meteor and potential others like it on Mars. The conversation turns to other rocks on the planet's surface, and how many may have come from outside the thin atmosphere. And above all, talk about a cool discovery. Much like our moon, craters are abundant on Mars. What aren't abundant are craters that resemble a traditional explosion. This photo was taken of a crater that took place between 2016 and 2019, and is one of the more unconventional ever seen. The colors have been enhanced, but the shape and explosion-like lines in the surface strangely resemble a bomb or nuke from our home planet. Maybe meteorites are just the universe's way of painting a planet. 
The first photos of the Martian sunset, such as this one, in its deep and stunning blue hue, have been awe-inspiring for astronomers and the general public alike, and a reminder that the universe really is beautiful at times. The cause of the inverted from Earth's sunset is due to the atmospheric conditions, as ours scatters blue light more intensely from the small gas particles within. On Mars, however, the atmosphere is riddled with larger dust particles, scattering the red light more, leaving the reverse of an Earth's sunset. As mentioned previously, the idea of Martian liquid water is one that just becomes increasingly supported through progress, especially discoveries like this photo of what appears to be the remnants of a stream. In terms of visuals that add to the evidence backing water's existence on the planet, nothing gets more shocking than what very well could have been one of its sources. This photo was taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. Curiosity didn't halt in its big discoveries, however, with its measurements of the Martian radiation levels. Apparently, early measurements taken by the rover indicate a similar level of radiation to what is experienced by people aboard the International Space Station, sparking widespread hope for potential long-term colonization of the Red Planet. Keeping with Curiosity's habit of making first-time and stunning discoveries, it also was the first rover to drill into a rock from another planet. While it may seem mundane at first, the material acquired by the rover was from billions of years prior, giving indication as to the planet's conditions from that time period. Curiosity found sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon, some of life's key components. Also found was clay, further suggesting a wet environment of the past. As rovers progress, the puzzle that is the red planet fills in more and more. And finally, one of the more conspiracy theory generating discoveries from the red planet is this pyramid shaped rock taken by Curiosity on May 7, 2015. Initially jarring to astronomers, it was quickly dismissed as a suspiciously shaped stone that just happened to be cut with sharp angles to resemble part of Egypt's world wonder. And of course, since the internet loves to speculate, this was seen as unequivocal evidence that Martian life exists. As Dr. Jim Bell, Deputy Principal Investigator and Professor of Astronomy at Arizona State University hilariously and simply put it, it is a rock. There's only so much scientists can do to dispel conspiracies, however. As humanity progresses in space, we'll certainly never be without stunning and game-changing discoveries. And as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.